I'm here at Whiting Campgrounds. This is actually Tamara. She's the camp host. She's gonna be kind of driving us around in her golf cart as long as it doesn't stall out on us. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. So why don't you give them a little introduction of yourself, Tammy? Tell them what's up. <laughs> Such as? This is my first official camp host position. I've done nomadic type of work before, but not hosting a campsite. Awesome. First time in Utah. I love it. I don't like it getting down in the 30s, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, does. it does get chilly. When yeah. it's raining, it gets cold. Absolutely. <laughs> but, I agree. Uh, and I'm from Texas. Sweet. What part? Uh, just north of Houston. Awesome. Texas. Awesome. And, and tell them the story of why you why you came out here to do this. I mean, you had plans for later, but tell them why oh, you did it now. Oh, why I did it now? Yeah. Coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> hey, some good things came out of the virus, right? <laughs> yeah, I semi-retired real a little early. That's a good thing. That is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> A lot of people go right through this camp, but they're not supposed to. Yeah, so don't go through this camp number two, guys. Privacy, come on. Here but is here's the trail. A little trail, look at that. This here's is the trail, trail that goes over to the group sites. And the ducks, you might want to see that. She has 10. Oh, I can't hold it. I'm a mo I'm either vibrate. So this is a little duck pond. She's showing us all the ducks. Yeah. Are people okay to feed the ducks? Yes, the people yeah. feed them. Well, I guess it's okay. I mean, they do it. I don't can't you, stop them. You know, Tammy, you could sell all your moldy bread for a profit if you wanted. Do what? Sell all your moldy bread for duck feed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people buy that Dad, kind of I stuff. Probably should. You should. <laughs> Why not? Right. <laughs> Okay, these are just, they're good sites, I guess. They're not one of my favorites, but uh, like, they're close to the bathroom and all, and it's quieter over here. And then like some camp hosts, Tammy actually does clean the bathroom, I promise. Like, she has her gloves and everything. We'll go in one. Too bad they can't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> smell <-o> vision <laughs> These are double sites, and... Uh, they, a lot of times families will rent two or three of these awesome. because they can camp and put tents out all around them. Yeah, we love double sites because they're easier with the trailers and more parking. So, mm -hmm. what's the parking limit on the campsites? Um, well, they're supposed to only have two vehicles. Okay. Plus their thing. Um, I don't. Walk too much about that right now. <laughs> You're pretty nice, aren't you? Especially if people check in. Like yeah, that's as long a lot as easier. they stay off the road, vegetation, and, and the vegetation. stay off the road, uh, then I'm fine. They stay in their rented spot, then it's okay. Are you? This is my favorite. Oh, this site. is your favorite site. Yes, because it's got the the little trail a tr creek that runs all the way up you can see it's oh look at pretty. that that is all a really pretty up. one and there's a little bit of trail in the back and stuff too mm -hmm. it That's just awesome. you can see it it's, when you're in the site it goes all the way up and just a beautiful spot absolutely i agree this is my one and only pull through and so it stays busy too. this is mine and my wife's favorite because it is a pull through we suck at backing up trailers so. <laughs> that's number 11 right yeah, the, that's yeah. 11. The pull through is 11. Now, this is the section, the main road that we were on originally. It's just, we've come out of the loop and back onto this road. This road actually leads to the trailhead for all the Maple 10 hikes. So, yeah. Don't be fooled by the motorcycle sound coming from her golf cart. It's definitely not a motorcycle. <laughs> but they bring many motorcycles, believe it or not, take it up the trail. I know, they're nuts. Dirt bikes, bicycles, horses. Uh, Dude, that, that like, uh, that like parking to widening a trail is scary because those people are zipping down the hill really fast on the, yeah, on yeah. the bikes and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I almost got pegged a few times hiking that the other day. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Oh, no. Is this one you? Oh, I gotta make a stop. This is, this uh, is a no no. This is made Whiting Campground's most wanted here. <laughs> I've given out what, six, seven 
grids and non-compliance today because starting from about right here they were parking all along oh man that's not good and their block the sites can't get in and out yeah, very well absolutely and i put these signs up but they think they can come right past them and park oh so tammy actually put this little parking sign yes, i have three of them up to let them know okay you can't park in this kind of an area but they just go on past the sign well they didn't work with me i gave them a ticket yeah there's a lot of people up here tonight <laughs> Now see here again, Looks I'll like have to do. do it again because these two cars are not parked legally. They're not parked legally. They Dang are it, parked guys. in non compliance. They are they're in they're blocking this entrance. Here's the last one. You see there's no this yellow the first line. Campsite, guys. This is there's a yellow line yeah, for every it. one of them. There's not a yellow line for this one. Jeez. They're not in a parking spot. That's not good. All right, we're gonna park and let Tammy do her thing here. Yep, I gotta ride them up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a we have to keep a chart because of Corona. Yeah. Every time we clean, added or responsibilities. Yes. And this is what they look like. And too wow. bad smell. Yeah, I'm not lifting the lid though, but I mean this is pretty clean for a campsite, man. Bleach water mm. in here has kept the flies down and kept the odor down. Oh, I bet. Because so we've been by some stinky campsites, man, and that's why I want people to see campsites. So they're, they know where the restrooms are, whether they want to be close to them or far away or whatever. Right, right. I'll show you my next to my favorite. Oh, well, I've got two of them. Let's do it. This, These sites I'm going to take you to next are the ones that are good if you're going to be camping <coughs> like with somebody else. Because these two campsites really are not private from one another. But they're perfect <coughs> for a big group. Exactly. And that's what people want up here. I mean, average family in Utah is like eight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be yeah. honest here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, this is one of them. This is 21. And it's big. And you can put tents in the front part here. Uh, not so much in the back. Okay. But... Now, and that's a double site? This is single site. Now here is another single site, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well. But see they've got a tent over here. Oh yeah, I see it. And then they have uh, space for two more tents over here. But it's like it's together. Yeah, absolutely. It just comes right down the hill. Yeah, so you rent both of those together and then you have yeah. like a really good And I've got a lot of people that do that. And and these are 18 and 19? No, 21 and 19. 21 and 19. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. And, yeah, you see the big tent there, and then they've got the two little tents over here. And there's enough room that you can actually put a big tent. Those over aren't here. tents, those are tarps. Let's Whatever y'all want. Um, <laughs> hey, that's really Shh. roughing it. <laughs> I won't pick on them too much, then they won't want to watch the video. <laughs> I think that's the best way to tent. Hey, that's light. A tarp and a rope. I mean, come on. I prefer a hammock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't disagree necessarily. I just say I like hammocks. Right. <laughs> Okay, now we'll take you to my next single site okay. favorite. Let's do it. Tim was my favorite because of the water and the All the features and everything. Yeah. Now, and this is the site I wish I could have because it gets so much sun and I need it for my solar panels. Yeah, but she I can't, can't though because all the numbskulls driving through. This is my uh -huh. next favorite, really. Where all the people are? Yes. And you sure may. Hey. hey Hi, can't thank you. See too well, but it's a short drive right here. But the thing is, is it's a little walk and your table is away from your drive. It really is. A little and bit then, of privacy and everything. Then so. there's a lot of space to have tents in the back and the creek runs on the other side, just behind where you it's put It's a your pretty, tents. pretty sight there. Yeah, I wish I could take you up there. Here's one that's empty and I can kind of take you in. What number was that one? That one's 12. This, this is 13 right this here. This is 13. <clears throat> we can get out and I can kind of show you. Let's do it, yeah. This is the back side of 12 where you can see all the space around oh, where yeah. you can, can uh, put like tents. stuff. Yeah, there's a, a lot, lot of space back there. Use 10 and uh, 11 and 12 together for big groups. And then you've got all of this that's got so much space to put out tents and stuff. 
And it's actually, uh, as you can see, it's not super rocky either, so that's what I like about these campsites. And then the kids, of course, always love the creek. Oh, yeah. The creek just runs all through here. Yeah, the kids love the creeks, man. And people put tents way back here even. As long as they're not in the creek or whatever you're... Yeah, as long as they're not bothering their neighbor. Fires are legal as of now, right? <clears throat> in the fire have, pit. They can have fires in the pit. Cannot have fires outside the pit. And please don't dump your pit stuff onto the ground. Yeah. They're cleaned up between each group uh, to make it look better than it did when I got there. It's because you're a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> I follow that same rule. My wife thinks I'm crazy just after uh, a certain point. Well, I never let my children throw anything on the ground. They'd spit out their gum. I'd make them pick it up and put it in paper and throw it in the trash can. <laughs> yeah, and they did not get away with that stuff growing up. Either. Yeah, come on, people. We need your donations. Tammy needs, like, the, the need beast of pay. all... Well, that, <laughs> and she needs, like, the beast of all golf carts, too. Like, Ooh. you know her... Purple golf carts taking a beating, right? Oh yeah. Uh, and I don't mind. They can chop all the wood they want as long as it's wood that's on the ground. And if they clean it up, <laughs> they they cannot chop down a tree, which I have had two chop oh down this year. And if I had known who they were, they'd have been a big, big trouble. Cause they can. I don't find them. I call the National Forest Guard well, yeah. on them and they give them a ticket they get and big they trouble. ban them from the park for a full year. Wow. Don't do that, guys. Oh, the horse trail runs up back in here. And it I goes, know. I just hiked this the other day. Yeah, it goes from the equestrian parking over across this road and goes up behind the campsites on this side all the way up to the trailhead parking. Yeah. Trailhead you guys will have to check out my video on that. It's pretty nice. It's a beautiful trail and it's really flat. And I like that there are benches all along the trails. There is actually, yeah. But I don't know if there's so much in here. Not too much in here. But down on the equestrian and up on the trailhead. Just if you're mountain biking people, be really careful because you know there's people hiking and you could like knock down a kid or something. Like you don't yeah. want to do that. So we're back on track here for the uh, group side here. Yeah, and I'll have to unlock it because I do keep this locked because I'll have this park. This can't, this parking lot full if I don't. Yeah, no kidding. And just like these people, they can't park here and I don't know why they're here. Tammy with her lock picking skills here. Oh, I gotta tell you the story about <laughs> this section a few weeks ago. And this guy put it on Facebook. His, his episode with the bear. Uh, were you the bear? <laughs> no, it was the real bear. Oh, I'm like, what? Yeah. I was so confused. I'll show you where the bear was. The bear had been getting in the trash and it shook my van even. Oh, jeez. One night. But uh, and hopped on my table. Oh man! Scared the people out. Number one, that they they put on their alarm. He put on his light, and that's when I saw the flash of the bear going back to the front of my car. And and they got in their car and went home. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's uh, crazy. But this guy had gone on his hike, and he decided he was going to put his hammock up over here and take a rest. Oh wow! Well, he put his hammock right in here somewhere I don't know exactly but right over here in this corner right up in here we put the bear trap really so he was right there by the bear trap that's crazy so the bear comes up to him <laughs> he even touches one of the trees that he's got his hammock tied to what <laughs> and he said he's whispering to Jim for the bear go away go away go away finally he gets scared because the bear keeps stopping and then coming a little bit closer he jumps up and starts running goes Rah! like that at the bear well the bear goes Rah! and starts chasing him no <laughs> way that it's is funny. so crazy. and i'm hearing this person 
hollering, bear, bear, but I know bear, hollering, bear. bear. I just, he's hollering. I'm thinking, okay, that's those kids over there playing in the water because the water was over there. Whoa. Well, it wasn't. It was him. He was just hopping away over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, these are the only flushable toilets I have. Those are nice. And they are uh -huh. for this parking and this Camp group site. Here. This is the large group site. How, how many people can it hold? Well, in Utah right now, none of them can't hold no more than 100 because that's all that's allowed. Yeah. I don't know uh -huh. for sure how many it will hold. But they can't overflow. They have to stay within their section. Which that is makes this sense. In that big parking lot. And then this is their bench area. It's a really nice area. Way back in the back, and I can take you back there, there is a volleyball poles and there really? are horseshoe poles. Really? Things over there. So you don't have to bring your horseshoe poles You don't anything. have to bring the poles, you have to bring the horseshoe. Yeah, take them uh, off their horse when you go, <laughs> <laughs> right? And th th this one rents for 444 a night, or day, whatever. People can camp here uh, as long as they stay in their group, their area. I, I know that sounds expensive, people, but first of all, Disneyland's closed, and you couldn't get two people into Disneyland for that price, so not bad not for bad. what you're getting. Now this one's got, we've got a little bit here, and there's there's water here and a pathway to the other side, in case, I guess if they have to use them both, I don't know. <laughs> this one is so pretty. It's small. Oh, this, is way... this is half the half the amount. Oh, look it's at two, that fire pit. It's 222 a night. That's that's a nice fire pit though. Isn't yeah, it? it is. Very pretty and calming, I think, this oh, area. Absolutely. Uh, now it doesn't have as many parking spaces. That's they're, okay. they're separated. That's why it's half the capacity, right? But yeah, but there are places all along where they can put tents up. And this is the regular non flushable pipe for this one. That's okay. Remember I told you there was a path to that campsite? Yeah. Here is the other end of it. Okay. That's by the pond, you know, where you can go to the group site and the campsite one, a uh, two. Okay. That's, this is the other side. But see, they can put tents along here. Oh, this is all tentable area. Look yeah. at this, guys. There's like tons of space out here. Yeah. It's even social distance just for you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they couldn't trust you to do it yourself, so they had to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to take you where this thing's not really supposed to go, but I we're going to do it. Because <laughs> uh, I want to show you the where that volleyball and stuff is. Let's do it. You see, there's just all kinds of space here. This is all just... kinds of tent space. I think there's more space in this one than the bigger group site. Mm -hmm. I think so too. That's crazy. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> well, off-roading adventures in Tammy. Do not try this at home, kids. You're not, <laughs> not supposed to be here, but we're going to do it. So I She's can the camp post. <laughs> okay. I won't tell her about it. See these posts. I've got, there's two of them. Posts. No They're way. for the horseshoe things. And then over here is the volleyball net. Dude, look at those. Those look like World War II military volleyball posts <laughs> there, too. Yeah, that is this so is cool. cozy little play area, I think. Absolutely. I think this is a really nice uh, group sites. I don't think I've, even, I've ever seen them that was... Oh, this is a way nice one. And I, my favorite, too. And believe it or not, it's more booked than one is. But, I mean, it's half price, but... I don't know if that's the reason. You mean B, booked. not A? Yeah, B. <laughs> B is, is half. More booked, yeah. Yeah, more booked, but it's half price. But I think it's prettier than... I do. Than, There's uh, a lot more tentable area. Yeah. And horseshoe pits, man. And we're going to go down here. We're not supposed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just cleared all this brush out. It was bad. I was just overhanging things. How do you clear it? I uh, weed eat it, and then I trim nice. out trees. I had to trim out all of these trees. You get you falling. get busy, girl. Oh yeah, and I'm busy. Yeah, and over here, which is crazy. Ooh. But I was trimming out right here in this bush. 
something big. I don't know what it was. It wasn't a deer and it wasn't a bear, but it was. It definitely wasn't a wolverine because they're not big. At least, <laughs> it was at least the size of a big cat. Oh my gosh. That jumped out and he took off back, back behind there when I was trimming out. I guess I scared it. I don't How know. How funny. This is awesome. You should have your grandkids. Oh. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> they would love it. Oh yeah, they would. Now you can kind of see. This is the now, trail I came off too. Goes. Yeah, I'm in it. It's just a pretty walk. It's a way pretty walk. Just beware of the mountain bikes, that's all. Yeah, I gotta be careful. And horse poop. <laughs> Oh, I'm used to that. I grew up in Horse City, USA, man. Well, Tamara, it's been really fun. And this, believe it or not, was full and overflowing the 1st of May. Really? And now it's, it's all dried drained up. out, guys. In May, that was full. So, well, I'd like to thank uh, Tammy here. We're just going to pull back to her campsite. Um, you know, for taking us on this tour and hopefully you guys got some good information if you want to come camping up here. So, all right. And don't disobey the rules though. She's nice, but she will give you a ticket. <laughs> You'll end up Whiting's Most Wanted here. <laughs> Only to make it safe for everybody. That's right, exactly. Maybe we can do a video in the future on Tammy's solar panels. <laughs> <laughs>